each other's questions and post answers and some oh. of the questions that you guys put i'll also um type those up so tj i'll have a link to that where you can read the specifics on it but there's very very few atoms and they're spread really far apart in space um, when, I, when i was i was um searching through my um um my google drive and no i not google drive but i was going on Google Classroom and I went on the website and we found that yesterday. Yes. Not yesterday, Monday. We did. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 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 
repeat your question again? Oh, where would you find like a completed vacuum of space in a, a true vacuum? We can create vacuums um, in the science lab. They have to, I don't know how they create them. I was reading about it, but I can't remember off the top of my head. So I'll post that too. Okay. So on this game that you guys are going to get on here in a minute, they're going to give you different Ooh. objects, and you have to try and figure out how many atoms are in each one. So you're going to slide this over, well, it doesn't work, and it'll come up with 10 to the like 10 power or something. So I'm like, as long as you hold your mouse down and then slide it, but then as soon as you let go of your mouse, it tells you if you need to go higher or lower than. Uh, so she got that So that was 10 to the 20. And up in the top corner, it tells you. Oh no, it's the same. So you guys can open up your Chromebooks. It's on Google Classroom. <laughs> Google Classroom under the matter topics. I'm 
Okay, so if you look up at the top, our I can statements that we're going to be able to continue for after this. So you're going to be able to identify the charge of each particle in an atom. You will be able to identify the location of each particle in an atom. And you'll be able to produce a diagram of an atom. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to read the first few paragraphs. And we're going to talk about different people. So we are actually making a like paper photo album of these different people. So once you hear a person, raise your hand. In the center of Matterville, there is a place called the Nucleus Arcade, where two members of the Adams family like to hang out. Perky Patty Proton. There we go. So that's going to be our first person up here. Perky Patty Proton. If I wanted to color code, what color do you guys think I should use? Uh, purple. Perky. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Let's use yellow. You guys don't have to use the same colors that I'm using. You can just use your own Okay, looking at what I just read, what is this town called? That word. Matterville. Janelle, since you're raising your hands. Matterville. Matterville. Why do you think it's called Matterville? Exactly. Because the atoms are made up of matter. Good job. Okay, so let's get back to our paragraph about Perky Patty Proton. You guys are going to want to listen for the description of like her personality, her favorite activity, or where she's located, and then we're actually going to have to try and draw a picture of her. Okay, so I'm going to keep reading. Perky Patty Proton, like her sisters, is quite large with a huge smile and eyes that sparkle. Patty is always happy and has a very positive personality. So what would be her description of her personality? Kira? She's always happy and happy. Happy and positive. She's very Just by looking at her name, what word do you think we need to remember out of that? Perky. Patty. <laughs> what word are we going to be using the most in science class? Proton. So underline the word proton. And then if one of our I can statements is to identify the charge of each particle, what well, should we underline under the description? Yeah. Zach? Positive. Positive. So that's going to be our charge of the proton. Okay, moving on to the favorite activity. Where can we find Perky Patty Proton? In the first paragraph. Oh. Okay, so where would that be? The arcade. Okay, the arcade. In but specifically, what arcade? <gasps> Kelly? The nucleus arcade. So what science word do you think we're going to use the most? Nucleus. Nucleus. We'll underline that. Okay. 
So looking at this, we have a proton and a positive. Okay, so now we get to see my awesome drawing skills again. Okay, so looking back at the paragraph, what would be something that I need to draw or try to draw? Erica? A huge smile. Hey, what else do I need to add? Jesse? Eyes that sparkle. Do you guys see what's in the parentheses right here? Well, it's plus huge. It's a plus sign. So it's a positive sign. So we are going to use those as our eyes. They're sparkling. Um. <laughs> Let's add some hair. No. <laughs> I don't 
So in her name, what do we need to underline? Neutron. What about in her description to represent her charge? Dylan? Neutral or zero? Okay, so where can we find Nerdy Melvin Neutron? James? Um, arcade. And what specific arcade? Anderson? And what do I need to underline there? Okay, so let's start with drawing. What would be one thing that I need to have in my drawing? James? A flat face. I mean, I mean, a flat face. <laughs> and a straight line for the mouth. What else? We look back at our paragraph about her. What does it say about her eyes? Yeah. So we're going to put zeros for her eyes. <laughs> so if you guys want to use your artistic abilities, you can kind of make those into glasses maybe because it's nerdy Melvin Neutron. <laughs> face, 
eyes that are squinted with anger, and a very negative attitude. So how could we describe his personality? Um, not happy. He was angry. Angry. What did that mean? No. Okay, so what else can we add for description, Jesse? He has a negative attitude. So in his name, what science word do we need to know? So what about in the description? In our description, what word? No? Negative. Negative. So where can we find a bridge of the electron? Where is he located? Can you read the long paragraph? Caleb? Tracing around the nucleus of the electron. Okay. Tracing around the nucleus of Okay, so for his favorite activity, what do we need to underline for this one? This one we might need to underline a little bit more than the other ones. What would be the most important information that we need to know? Coffee? Okay. Let's get rid of one word. So what two words do we need to underline? Around the Around the news. Okay, now for his picture. What do we need to add? James? Like, um, for his eyes, like, to uh, draw his eyes, to just fix the point down like that. Okay, so as for his eyes, we're going to use the two negatives, but he was saying kind of slant them. Because he's mad and he's angry. Well, we're just going to pretend those are his eyes for now. No, he could be closing them. Yeah, he's squinting his eyes. Well, he's just extra mad. Okay, what about his mouth? What do they say about that? No, it's just really bad. What else should we add?
anyone remember which one of these it was? Actually, I see which one. Electrons. And then our positive R, Alan, and our zeros and link ones are what? Jesse? Neutrons. So here's also another diagram. So it looks a little bit different. So there's a lot more electrons and neutrons and protons. So you can have more than one level of electrons. Do you have any other questions over this? Okay, so do you guys
So it used to be where it can go along with the same beat, and then it'll yeah, fit right in. Do we have a scale? No, you don't have to say that. Can you work with the wait? No. No. Caleb, okay. you have to, no, you don't have to do it. If you do want to do it, it is due on Friday. Okay. Cashy. What are we writing? You can just write it on a piece of paper. Could we write it on a piece of paper? Yeah. Say it. No, that's what you're making up. So you're going to make up one of these sayings right here. So whatever you come up with, your first word. So whatever you make, this first word has to rhyme throughout the rest. So that could be the tricky part. Yeah. Ooh. What? <laughs> 